In recent weeks, we've seen over 600 marches in support of science around the world. And with several elections in Europe, a call by industry for more emphasis on addressing the acute shortage of engineering talent. Peter Venick, President and CEO of ASML, one of the world's leading manufacturers of chip-making equipment, went on Dutch television to call for double the number of students studying beta subjects. So we went to Enschede, a city in the east of the Netherlands, famous for its nanotechnology, where two universities have partnered with leading photonics companies to design new courses for the optics talent of tomorrow. We are in Enschede. This is the University of Applied Sciences, Saxion, and we are in the laboratories of the nanophysics group. We do also have a collaboration with the University of Twente, but the uh, University of Saxion at the moment is well, it's one of the biggest uh, univer applied universities in the Netherlands. There's more than 20,000 students, and they are really focusing on nanotechnology, uh, and we hope that uh, the next generation of students will be ready for all the companies, the highly innovative companies uh, located in this surrounding. So what we found is that many of these spin-off companies like, like Lionix, but there are many more, uh, grow actually products out of, of technology developments at the University of Twente. And we found that they are in need of, of hands-on engineers that can actually apply these technologies and, and build devices or build products from these technologies. And that we try to fill that gap by, by uh, educating students to, to do this kind of work. Uh, that's how the master was born. Uh, we, uh, we worked first on the competences, what type of uh, persons uh, do you need uh, to work to bring uh, products to the market. And we began then to fill in all the, all the necessary contents of the program. So it's a program which is built from the, let's say, backwards, from, from, from the, uh, uh, the employees to the students. In the minor course, that's what we're talking about here, uh, they actually get a lot of hands-on training. So they learn uh, what are the aspects of nanotechnology, why are things, in when you shrink them down to nano size, why are they special compared to, to large scale uh, things like, like optics but also other things like fluidics. Uh, at the same time we also now started the master course, it's a two years course and this goes in depth but at the same time it's still aimed at applying new technologies so uh, they learn how to work with new technologies and how to apply them. They don't learn how to create new technologies, that's something that universities do. So we focused on uh, skills like analysis uh, professionalism uh, and uh, skills uh, that are related to realization in the lab. Uh, so our students should not be afraid to make their hands dirty, but also should be able to discuss with uh, scientists and, 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 and bosses of, of the companies on the same level. So we decided to not go very deep in the fundamentals of the science, but just to build a very classical, let's say, engineering program, but with very modern type of skill set. My name is Dirk Jonker and I'm studying applied physics at Saxion and I'm doing a minor course in nanotechnologies. I want to become a researcher which uses applied physics in a biological setting, um, mainly to detect diseases in the early stage and also to detect contamination in food products. What I want to do next is become a, a researcher and the knowledge, well it's not only the knowledge in Saxion that uh, I want to use, also uh, the network is very important. There are lots of people working on uh, interesting subjects and um, these people all have their own networks and which gives me the opportunity to uh, get a piece of their knowledge basically, yeah. Uh, it is real research, of course there is some exercise going on uh, because you need to have some basic knowledge and understanding of certain things. But if we do a project, for example, this is with a company or for a company, so it's not something only for the uh, teaching part, but also to actually have it applied and have it have meaning in the field. Nanotechnology is especially in Enschede because we have the Mesa Plus lab here at the university. So most of the companies in the Netherlands who have the focus on nanotechnology are located around the Mesa Plus lab. So that's why I choose it. I think it started a long time ago when there were companies like Thales that came in here um, around that they had a lot of radar technology which is sort of some of the predecessors of optical technology and so it's a historical development. There was optics research here at the universities, companies came in that used the optics research um, for very different purposes so there were very entertainment like uh, applications but also medical devices and the combination of that made that there's a lot of interest from different directions.
Mesa Plus is a research institute of the University of Twente, and we host around 600 researchers in the domain of nanotechnology in a variety of areas like photonics, fluidics, advanced materials, and microsystems. To an extent, the, the goal is to make everything faster and smaller and integrated so that you have these functionalities that you didn't have before. I think at the moment here in Twente we have a nice combination of companies and research and industrial development that will that will combine into something bigger. Uh, we also have a lot of research now into the medical devices, and these medical devices need a lot of optics input um, and, and use a lot of optics to get even better results. So that's, that's the kind of combination of things that I hope will flourish and bring a lot of new activity. Uh, we expect a lot from the, from the next generation students which is working in this laboratory, also for us, especially in the integrated optics uh, theme. And uh, the common ground between the University of Twente and the University of Saxion of Applied Sciences is the Mesa Plus Institute, which provides the knowledge to the new technologies. And uh, both students from University of Twente and students from University of Applied Sciences Saxion are very well trained at the moment to become the next generation employees for all these companies. So the Mesa Plus Nanolab is part of the consortium Nanolab NL, which is a national consortium of the different clean room facilities that we offer, which includes the Nanolab in Delft, in Twente, in Eindhoven and in Groningen. Yeah, working in nanotechnology is expensive. We need the best equipment, state-of-the-art equipment to manufacture and to uh, analyze uh, the materials on the nanoscale, which will have huge impact on society because it will end up in products and systems that we will see all around us. Yes, I am passionate about it. <laughs> because it's a huge opportunity for us. This is the century of photonics, and photonics, I think, will uh, replace electronics uh, because of many advantages that photonics displays over electronics. And I want to be a part of it. Mm -hmm.